Hello investors, welcome back to another video. Today's topic is about investing in real estate. In this video, we will show how you can start investing in real estate with as little as $100. Yes, you heard that right. Real estate is a lucrative but capital intensive investment, accessible to only high net worth investors. However, thanks to the innovation in financial service industry, an average investor with as little money as $100 can invest in the real estate market today. There are plenty of ways in which you can get this exposure and reap the benefits of real estate investment. Let's discuss them one by one. Before we dive into the details, smash that like button so the videos will reach to a broader audience. And also, subscribe to our channel to get notifications while we post a new video. Let's get started. The most popular way in which you can invest in real estate is through Real Estate Investment Trust, commonly known as REITs. REITs are companies that operate or own income generating real estate using the capital contributed by their investors. Since the shares of REITs trade on stock exchanges, all you need is an equity brokerage account with a stockbroker to start investing. The real estate market is not liquid, which means that it takes time to buy and sell properties. Buyer and seller in the real estate market are not readily available because of the high transaction value and documentation involved in closing the deal. But that's not the case for REITs. You can easily buy and sell it from an exchange. So how do you start investing in REITs? Before that, it is important to first determine what type of REITs you want to invest in. There are mainly three types, depending on the way they generate their income. Number one will be the equity REITs. Equity REITs are the most common type of REITs, and they generate their revenue from renting rather than selling the properties. Number two, mortgage REITs. Mortgage REITs derive a majority of their income from mortgages and mortgage-backed securities. The profit is generated from the spread between interest rate they pay to acquire funds and the interest rate they receive from mortgages and mortgage-backed securities. Number three, hybrid REITs. Hybrid REITs generate funds from rental properties, mortgages, and mortgage-backed securities. It is a mix of both equity and mortgage REITs. Remember, not all REITs are traded on stock exchanges. There are some REITs that are registered as public companies, but their shares do not trade on stock exchanges. To buy the public non-traded REITs, you will have to contact the individual shareholder of that particular REIT, which can be quite difficult. However, the price of the public non-traded REITs tends to be very stable because they are not prone to speculation or day-to-day -day volatility. Private REITs, on the other hand, are neither registered as public companies nor traded on stock exchanges. The shares of private REITs are held by private individuals and are not transferable to the general public. So, you can only buy either public traded REITs or public non-traded REITs, with the latter being more difficult to buy. So, what are the benefits of investing in REITs? Investing in REITs will help you to diversify your portfolio. REITs are known to provide regular dividend income to shareholders. Many countries mandate them to distribute 90% of their income to the shareholders. If you reinvest the dividends, you can achieve a high yield on your investment. REITs typically provide higher dividend yield than stocks. The returns or dividends you get from investing in REITs typically mirror the returns you get from appreciation in the market value of the real estate. With the passage of time, the price of shares usually increase, giving the investors higher total returns. Like any other investment, REITs also comes with some sort of risk. It is essential for you, as an investor, to be aware of the risk involved in your potential investment. Let's discuss some of the risk factors you may encounter while investing in REITs. Prices of REITs are highly sensitive to interest rates. When the interest rates are high, the prices of REITs declines because of the rise in the yield. There is an inverse relationship between the price of an asset and its yield. The higher the yield, the lower the price, and vice versa. It is true that investment in REITs can diversify your portfolio. But that may not be the case when you invest in an individual REIT because a REIT company might have its investments concentrated in a particular sector. So, you should research whether the REIT you are investing in has adequately diversified investments. Also, if you want to properly diversify, you can consider investing in a real estate ETF or mutual funds. Buying shares of real estate ETFs is another cost-effective way to invest in real estate. Real estate ETFs, like common ETFs, hold a collection of stocks of real estate companies, giving you the benefit of diversification. Alternatively, you can also invest in real estate mutual funds, 
but keep in mind the mutual fund companies may charge higher fees for managing your portfolio because there's an active management involved. So in conclusion, investment in REITs is an excellent way to get exposure to the real estate market in a cost-effective way. Anyone can start investing today with as little as $100. So if you want to diversify your portfolio, investing in REITs can be your best option as it provides an opportunity to get dividends as well as long-term capital appreciation. So that's all for today. Hope you have gained some meaningful knowledge from this video. Will you start investing in REITs or are you currently invested in it? Post in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up as it really motivates us to create new videos. Also, subscribe to our channel to get notifications while we post a new video.